guys, what's going on? Snow here, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Firewatch. And the last episode, we started the game, we made our way to this small valley because some people setting off some fireworks. And. Oh, Ferreter Irish. Ooh, Ferreter Irish. Alright. Um. We're gonna hold for later because why the frick not? Alright, so we gotta stamp campfire. Oh, uh, it's not letting. Okay, there we go. Now we can stop it out. That's. Henry, you stomped out the side of it, but there you go, Henry. Yeah, stomp on, yeah, Henry, my dude. Okay, um, still trying to remember everything. Tied up here. The idiots down at the lake. Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. Oh boy, so. Oh, there you well, go. Their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. That'd be exciting. Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Oh no. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? Oh no, more, uh... There's, a. Uh... Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Henry. What is that guy doing over there? Oh, okay. How do I respond? Uh, I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? Oh my. Sorry for bothering. I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. That's not what a free country means. I said sorry. Oh my God, is that what you are? Mark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Well then. Um, that was eventful. All right, we're gonna head back to Two Forks now. I don't want to touch the poo box. Watch me get sued or something for touching it. Just knowing those girls. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Yeah. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. All right, so. Let's make our way back to Two Forks and just to make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up a lot of these cans and everything like that just so make sure those Roman candles aren't there when they come back. Get rid of the beer cans. Alrighty. Okay, so it seems all picked up now. So yeah, we're gonna head our we're gonna head back to Two Forks now. Oh no, there is a lot more here, Jesus. Why should not they're probably not even not even of age, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna pick these up and I'll let you guys know when I'm back at Two Forks. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Okay. Let's, um, okay, so she said head west and head north. What? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, we we will make our way back. That that is for sure. So yeah, uh, don't worry about us, man. Henry is like an Olympic runner, dude. He'll he'll jump over things. He'll slide down from things. This guy is like a pro, my dude. He is a pro. All right, let's see where we are on the map now. Um, all right. So we just pretty much stick to the river and then soon go to the right side. Um. I think we'll make our way back to Two Forks. All right, that's exactly what we need. We need to get back to there. 
All right. Um. So I ooh. have a bit of a confession to make. Oh boy. What is it? Um. Look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah. Well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> True. Well, I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Uh, I'm almost there, Delilah. I, I I'm almost there. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Oh, wow, the what, puns. You're not enjoying our current conversation? Ooh, let's open this up. Is it one, two, three, four? Yes, oh, I'm it is. Let her have that one. All right, let's copy this down because we're gonna want to know where that all is. And then, what's this? Ooh, flashlight. Doesn't work. Ah. Oh, yep, it works. Horn. Okay, we're just gonna drop that. All right, so let me see. Okay, we're currently, are we? Okay, so we can make our way if we just continue through the cave. Ooh. Yeah, okay, let's talk about the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. There we go. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! The There's hell? some guy out here. Some guy? The fuck are you, mate? He's looking at you? Is he doing anything what? else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Alrighty. That was awkward though. What if that person's just trying to kill me, man? You, you never know. You never know. Yeah, Henry, my dude, I'm telling you. Henry, for Olympics, uh, 20. What? 20, what is it? 2020? 2020? To 2022. I don't even know. Oh boy. Alright. Um, I think it's 2020 though. Is it Russia? It might be in Russia. All right, Henry, yeah. Henry, get it, my dude. All righty. We are up here now. I don't see that guy, though. Where did he go? Dude, am I gonna die? Am I gonna have an attempt of murder onto me? Because that would not be ideal right now, man. Please, no. Please. All right, um... Yes, Henry, I get you're tired. You're fine, though. You've trained for this all your life, my dude. You've trained hard and hard. You can't give up now. Keep going. Keep going. It's reminding me of that one time in Nemo when they're trying to get out of the net. Keep going. Henry, yes. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, oh my god, Henry. You you get going, then you go for a break. This is why... Uh, 
Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Oh, there, well, look, right there. What the fuck is this? Ah. What the fuck? Forest brines. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. <laughs> I could never. Wait, what the fuck? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. What? You can just hear the music in the background. I don't like this. What the fuck? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Put the fucking book up there. Jesus. Can, can, can it? Is this mine? Can, I can't hit the power. I just, I just want to look at some stuff, man. Okay, I put in a call. I don't want. I don't want their call. Got my my mouse. Okay. Oh thanks. Jesus. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah, not really that safe. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. True, true. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Alrighty. Day two of, of this. So, maybe I should just make each episode a day. I don't know if you guys want that. Um, not really sure, but... Yeah, if you guys want each episode to be, like, which day and everything like that, uh... Let me know and everything. Ooh, look at this view. Wake up. I'm up. Jesus, I'm always up. Jeez. Hey, wake up. I'm, don't I look, I'm awake. Awake, awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Oh, man. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Thanks rhymes with Hank. Thanks, Hank. Well, kind of. Thank Hank. If you say thank, then yeah, it rhymes, but... Other than that, we're all good. All right, so now we're going to have to backtrack a bit. 
Alright, um... Where's what? Where's his name? Forrest Brines. Fuck is Forrest Brines at? He's somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's right over here. Alright. So essentially, we just want to go right back through this way again. Alright, that's, that's simple enough. Alright. Dude, this, like... It's so pretty, man. So pretty. Jeez, Henry. Dude, Henry can drop. Man. Like, I would have never expected that. But, Henry, hey, he don't, Henry don't give a fuck. Henry, a honey badger. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll let you guys know when something does happen. And, uh, yeah. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Fuck it! You know, uh, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. Huh. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Alright, so hey, she's... Um... I don't think so. Why, have you? Go north. Okay, good. Uh, no, hey, your button is still idea. down. Delilah, I'm I can hear you. Sure. <laughs> I Would said you? I could... Wait, are you talking about me? Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that Who regard. Who are you talking to? Hey, Delilah. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway... Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Damn, she stepped away. Well, okay. Well, that's her fault. She shouldn't. She's probably talking about me, dude. All right, so let's look at this. All right, we're still pretty much heading north. So let's look at the map real quick. We're right there. Okay, now where do we want to go? Is the question. Okay. Wait. Um. So we just want to keep pretty much taking this path up. All the way to the north, it seems. Man, this fog is crazy. Um, okay, okay, so here's the telephone line. So if we just keep following this, then we should be able to uh, find possibly where it did cut down. If it did, not really sure if it did, but she says, it, she says it's down, so it must be down. Um, okay, ooh, what's over here? What is this? Because I see a building right there. What does this say? Uh, third floor fire lookout. 5.4 miles ahead. Jesus. Yeah, no thanks. Wait, is that, is that down or does it just go down? Okay, yeah, it just goes down. Okay. Um. Oh. I think I see it. Right there. Alright, so we're just gonna head down and uh, just slowly make our way all the way up to there. But yeah, it looks like that's where it snapped. So maybe from the lightning or something, possibly. I would think, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, come on. Oh, oh well. Alright, nothing over here, it seems. Did I just go up here for nothing? I went up here for nothing! Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Oh, come on. I should be able to scale that. Alright, so I guess we couldn't go up that way, but... We will go up this way if we must. 
Um, yeah, right up here. Alrighty. Oh, oh no, that's. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here, leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah, like, seriously, up. Yep. Another one. Alright, let's clean you up. We don't need trash out here. The animals could eat that, man. We don't want the animals getting sick or anything. So, uh, yeah. Um, we're... Okay, so we're at the pole. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Alright, so there are beer cans, but... Oh, that's not good. Is that cut? Cause that doesn't look like a, from a storm or anything. Hey, yeah. So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah. The thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is... Illegal. <laughs> hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. True. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. All right, all right. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. True. Oh, he did find a beer can over here. Yeah, there's another one right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to pick this up because I'm actually going to leave the episode here. Don't want, don't want it to run off for too long. So, of course, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below. And, of course, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe as well for more content and everything like that. Um, we just started, uh, me and a few friends, we started with the forest. Of course, you guys saw it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, so that's been a lot of fun. We started that series. We started this series. And hopefully soon when uh, the server I work on, when that maps, brand new maps out, we can possibly start on a Pixelmon series somewhere as well so of course if you guys have enjoyed make sure to still hit that like button down below comment if you have any advice or any questions and everything subscribe if you do and i'll see you guys next time